Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair, and in this message, we're going to talk about the difference between a reason and an excuse. <laughs> Let me give you a little warning. If you're feeling a little emotionally fragile, you may want to read or listen to this one a little bit later on, or perhaps never. But don't say you weren't warned. Now, I've got a confession to make. I'm pretty fed up with all the thumb suckers in this world. I'm talking about the people who are constantly whining, complaining, rationalizing, and justifying why their life is a succession of bad luck and unfinished endeavors. I'm talking about the people who start projects but somehow never find a way to bring them to a finish. I'm talking about the people with the highest intentions but who deliver the lowest of results. These people are far more interested in arriving at success without ever having to do the heavy lifting themselves. They simply refuse to accept the reality that they must do their own push-ups. And as creator of the Wonder Day Challenge, as someone who is constantly dealing with people who want to create positive, lasting change in their lives, I'm talking about their relationships, their finances, career, health, appearance, attitude, you name it. I hear way too many excuses. As a rule, I have more people tell me why they can't change than why they can. And while I acknowledge that we all have challenges, hurdles, and obstacles to navigate and negotiate along our path in life, in my humble opinion, most reasons for not executing are, in fact, not reasons at all. They're nothing more than sad, pathetic, and cheap excuses. So let's focus on the differences between a reason and an excuse. Well, according to the dictionary, there's absolutely no differentiation, and that is where the problem starts. See, both a reason and excuse are defined as an explanation put forward to defend or justify a fault or offense. So what do you say we put an end to that nonsense right here, and I mean right now? The fact is, there's a huge difference between a reason and an excuse. And this one health-related example will perfectly illustrate the difference between the two. So your reason for not going for a run is that I have a broken leg. An excuse is I don't have time. It's sad yet so very true that far too many people have developed an unequal gift for making excuses in every imaginable way possible. So allow me to bottom line this one for you. Excuses are nothing more than personality defects. They're ugly character flaws. The dirty ring around the collar of your performance, which carry the distinct whiff of mediocrity. And the tragedy of the average person is that they become dependent upon the deception, the false belief, and unfortunately, the ease of use associated with making excuses. And I know of no enemy that's more insidious or vicious than excuses. And it's an enemy that poses a clear and at present danger to your future. And precisely because there's no textbook definition that presents a clear distinction between the two, we're left with just one option, and that is to examine the results. So let's get started doing just that. See, the difference between reasons and excuses lies in the results of each, in the actions that follow, the repercussions and consequences, as well as how well an individual is affected by the events that cause each. It's what we do with each one of them that determines the difference. And if you're the excuse-making type, you have a strong tendency to view an excuse as a result of an uncontrollable event that you deem as an exoneration of your task, responsibilities, or your plans. You see it as a legitimate justification for immunity of your sins, for revoking all that is expected of you. A reason, on the other hand, is a stimulus that causes something to change or happen, giving you a chance to reroute your actions and to manage yourself to stay in control of the results you wanted without turning it into an excuse. The excuses and reasons on the surface share a similar strand of DNA, but what you do with each is what differentiates them. Excuses are negative and irresponsible, while reasons are natural occurrences, and if acted upon, they lead to responsible results-driven behavior. So here's an excellent rule of thumb, and I mean an excellent rule of thumb, and that is, every reason must have a resulting action. Now that's a point worth repeating. Every reason must have a resulting action. See, the main function of a reason is not to justify, but to explain. Reason implies that fault is sincerely recognized and accepted, that you step up and take accountability for your actions. An excuse, on the other hand, exists to justify, to blame, or to defend a fault, with the intent to absolve oneself of accountability. An excuse will never be followed by positive, goal-directed, or solution-oriented behavior. Excuses bring productivity to a screeching halt. They waste time and they murder potential. They're a tool of cowards, wimps, and weaklings. They're weapons of destruction that undermines one's reputation, their credibility, and their future prospects. Therefore, do not ever associate with them.